Yes, uh, you are leaving the Turkish Academy. Um, Your Excellency, I'm not leaving completely, I'm just changing my role. And uh, as I mentioned to you before, I'm changing my role to become the co-chairman of De Beers. Um, and so I will continue to be involved, but in a different capacity. But I'm really thrilled to be able to bring my successor, El Kuku, I've just introduced to you, just to come and say hello and pay his respects and uh, maybe tell you a little bit about himself. But um, I'm very excited that El will take the role as CEO of De Beers, and I'm very excited I will be able to continue in a different role oh. and hopefully still keep in touch with you from time to time. So welcome. Thank you so much. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the oil and gas industry. So for the last seven years I've been working in Norway. Uh, oil and gas. No national oil and gas company. Oil and gas to, to diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, very interesting. Now we are we are here. Find also we have oil too, huh? Also discovered oil. It's not only diamonds. So you can also advise us on oil. <laughs> well, I'm more than happy to uh, try to do that. We've all, I think the world has been looking on to the discoveries that Namibia has made in oil and gas over the last few years. So I think everyone wishes you the very best in that endeavor. It's very exciting. It's a transitional thing. I've got into him. <laughs> yeah, got into green hydrogen. Yeah. Yes. So it looks good. So we'll see. Cook will also be representing De Beers Group on the board of Namdab Holdings, which is a 50-50 venture with government. The visit by De Beers Group executives comes as neighboring Botswana pushes for an increase in its shares to more than 50% in the sales and marketing agreement with the mining giant. Botswana's government currently buys 10% of the diamonds produced while the rest are purchased by De Beers Group. Mines and Energy Minister Tom Alwendo says in the case of Namibia, government and De Beers are not renegotiating the current provisions of the sales and marketing agreement as it is valid until 2026. Government buys 15% of local diamonds produced and De Beers 85%. The sales and marketing agreement determines how diamonds are bought and marketed by the parties involved, which the De Beers Group says is fair. Botswana takes 80 cents in every dollar that comes out of our partnership there, and we take 20. Uh, I'm very confident that's a very fair deal, and you would have heard President Vasisi saying that what he wanted is a win-win for both parties, and that's what yes. we will both achieve. So I'm very confident that yeah. we will achieve a win-win deal for both parties. Do you, do you believe that um, other, other countries, be um, because of the Botswana situation, you could see other countries like Namibia and South Africa, for example, demand more? Um, no, I think the deal that we have in every country is fair and important to both parties and is appropriate for the country in which we are in. So I'm confident that all of our deals around the world are very fair to our host governments, very fair to the peers, and allow us to do what we both want to do, which is invest together in the future. Thank you.